In Subnautica, we had table coral samples all around these safe shallows. In fact, in such a large quantity, you really didn't have to look for them anywhere else. And below zero, you'll find table coral samples around a few different places, but it's not the same massive quantities that we saw in Subnautica. In most cases, you'll find one, maybe two close together. In other places, you might find four pieces. But I am going to show you today two locations where you can find at the least 30 to 50 samples. So the first location is actually pretty easy to find because it's right next to an Altera tech site, specifically the one labeled Twisty Tech Site 2. I find this easiest to get to if you come to the big talon looking iceberg at the beginning, right next to the floating tech site. From here, looking basically in the direction it's pointing or south by southwest, you can head straight forward and look down to find the Altera Twisty Tech Site 2. If you do this during the day, it should be pretty easy to spot because you'll see a little bit of that light reflection on the compartment. Now, this is an important tech site because it has the high capacity O2 tank as well as one of the scans for the habitat builder. Now, if you're looking for the other Altera tech sites, I do have a separate video covering all of those. Now, you can already see we've got one and two table coral samples. So there you go. If that's all you need, you're set. But I promised you at least 30 minimum table coral samples for each area. So starting from here, Let's go right here. You've got one, two, three, four, five. Go in here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven table coral samples right there. Back at this point, if we drop down below here, you're going to find one, two, three, four, five, six. Look up here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And then from here, we can also go up through this little area. And you'll already see some here peeking around the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So right through this, oh, 25, <laughs> right through this area, right here. Just this area and right over there around the tech site, you've got a massive amount of table coral samples. So just in this area alone, I was able to collect a total of 49 table coral samples staying right around Altera Twisty Tech Site 2, not going very far away. So that's 49 samples in one little area, and it was no time at all to collect them. Now for most players just playing the story or doing a few light bases, this should be more than enough table coral samples for you. You should not be needing that many more beyond this. But wait, there's more. So I did say I have two locations for you. And while the second location doesn't have a nice Altera tech site as a landmark next to it, there is still a certain visual item that you can look for to help make sure you're in the right spot. So as you get close to Delta Island, the big island in the middle of the map, you should get the marker for Delta Station Dock. Coming up here on Delta Station Dock, you're going to go north by northwest, or if the weather's clear enough, you can see there is a geothermal vent in that direction. So going past all of these smokers, you're going to come into the twisty bridges. And as you see, I have my sea truck parked here facing towards this set a crescent moon coral this is the landmark you're looking for once you see that this area is the location you're going to but diving in here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen right here in this little interior area but don't worry there's even more here because if we come down and go around the lower section, we have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and then 30. The loose piece right above the exit or entrance to that lower area. Also, there's going to be a few more loose pieces around 31 and even more just scattered around the normal loose single pieces. So even if the first area of 
nearly 50 is not enough for you. Here's another section with 30 plus table coral samples scattered around the area. And it's a very small area, so you don't have to worry about going too far. You just have to watch out for the sharks. Now, if you're watching this video and you say 80 table coral samples, that's it. That's all I get because you really need table coral samples beyond gathering just the smaller pieces of table coral that you find scattered all throughout the twisty bridges and other biomes. There is an easy way to continue to get table coral samples without a lot of work. And this is the same method I have recommended for so many items in videos and live streams. That's the sea monkeys. Once you get through the initial starting phase of the story and you have a certain friendly quality about you that makes the sea monkeys be your friends, they will bring you presents. And you can use recipe pinning not only to keep track of the items you need, but to get the sea monkeys to bring you items. And by pinning a recipe that needs table coral samples, they will bring you the table coral sample. So if this video helped you out, hit that like button and leave a comment if you have any other places you've gone to beyond these two to get huge amounts of table coral samples. And don't forget to make sure you've subscribed so you can keep up with all my content.